is a financial manager will be presenting the comparative analysis between two fashion companies which are Bonia Corporation Berhad and Cheetah Holdings Berhad. Nowadays, people give more attention on fashion industries as they love to follow the trend. Com this comparative analysis was divided into four scopes which are profitability ratio, liquidity ratio, leverage ratio and efficiency ratio. First of all, I'll be introducing Bonia Corporation Berhad. Bonia Corporation Berhad was established in 1974. It is an Italian inspirational brand and it is also an international luxury and leather expert fashion. The head office of Bonia Corporation Berhad was located at Arpon Corner, Ceras Palumbu. Next is Cheetah Holdings Berhad. Cheetah Holdings Berhad was launched in 1979 and it is focused on casual wares in various categories including ladies, children, baby and lifestyle. My name is Nur Ali Nabiha binti Muhammad Fauzi. Today I will be presenting the, pro, uh, the comparison of profitability ratio between Bonia Corporation Berhad and Cheetah Holdings Berhad. Profitability ratio analyze the ability of the management to generate profit from the firm's capital and assets. There are three indicators that can show the profitability for the company which are uh, net profit margin, operating profit margin and gross profit margin. Having higher or same as the competitor's firm's ratio means the firm is performing well. As you can see here, uh, Bonia Corporation Berhad uh, had a higher, higher ratio in profitability uh, ratios uh, uh, than Cheetah Holdings. Uh, first, we look at gross profit margin. Bonia Corporation, Bonia Corporation Berhad high, had higher ratio which is 60.39% when Cheetah only had 38.25%. This can be interpreted that Bonia are able to uh, to generate profit from uh, its revenue uh, uh, more than half, which uh, uh, which is 60.39 percent. So we can conclude that the higher the gross profit margin, the better the firm. Next, we take a look to operating profit margin. Operating profit margin is how uh, operating profit margin indicate how much a firm earns from. Uh, from its revenue less its operating expenses. Again, we can see here Bonia Corporation uh, had higher ratio which is 7.98% while Cheetah only have 0.78%. This can be interpreted as uh, Bonia are able to make RM 0.0798 operating profit margin for every uh, RM1 from its revenue while Cheetah uh, only able to gain RM 0.078 from its revenue. Next, we can look to net profit margin before tax and after tax. Net profit margin after tax measure how much revenue remains in the firm for distribution to, uh, to the shareholders or for reinvestment. Uh, Bonia, again, Bonia had higher ratio than Cheetah in this aspect. Uh, Bonia, uh, this means, this percent means every uh, one ringgit that Bonia earns, it earns net profit before tax, RM 0.0679 and, uh, and after tax, 0.0565. Uh, while Cheetah Holdings only earn 0.0142 and after uh, after tax 0.0088. So as we can see, after, even after deducting tax, Bonia still gain higher profit. In conclusion, the higher the profitability ratios of the uh, the higher the profitability ratio for the company, the better the company perform in uh, in aspect. Uh, gain profit. So, in this situation, this implies that Bonia Corporation Berhad has higher profitability ratio and perform well than a Shita Holdings Berhad. Next, uh, we continue our discussion focusing on liquidity ratio. So, 
the next scope is liquidity ratios. <coughs> As we know that liquidity ratios is used to examine the ability of a company to pay off its liabilities in short-term obligations. In liquidity ratios, we have current ratio, asset test ratio, inventory turnover ratio, account receivable turnover ratio, account payable turnover ratio. So first, I'll be explaining the current ratio and exit test ratio. Current ratio is the ability of a company to pay the liabilities using the current asset, while exit test ratio is the ability for the company to pay the current liabilities with only quick assets. So here from the table, we can say that Chita Holdings the current ratio is 12.67 while Bonia is 2.92 times which is here we can see that Chita have higher ratio than Bonia which is Chita is doing better in current ratio and paying liabilities <coughs> so for acid test ratio Chita also leading with, with 6.87 times while Bonia is 1.90 times Next is about inventory turnover ratio. Inventory turnover ratio is the efficiency of the company to convert its inventory into sales. So, based on the table, we can see that Bonia have higher ratio than Chita, which is Bonia Bonia's ratio is 1.64 times, while Chita's ratio is 1.31 times. And the turnover days is 2 to 2.70 days And Chita's days is 277.70 days So here we can say that Bonia have higher ratio and shorter periods for its company to convert its inventory into sales Which is we can conclude that Bonia have a greater demand in its product than Chita Next is account receivable turnover ratio. So we can see here that Bonia Corporation, the ratio for account receivable turnover ratio is 5.29, while Chita is 3.55 times. So here the account receivable turnover days for Bonia is 68.98 days, while Chita is for 0 to 0.82 days. Here we can say that. Bonia is better at collecting debts, which is they can collect their debts within 68.98 days. That's mean, that means that Bonia can turn it, its debts into cash within a shorter period. While here, we can see that Chita took a longer time to turn its debts into cash, which is it is not good for the company. Okay, now it is about account payable turnover ratio and account payable turnover days. So here we can see that Bonia has lower ratio than Chita, which is Bonia is 2.78 times and Chita is 11.5 times. And for the turnover days, Bonia has a longer period than Chita, which is 131.27 days and Chita is 31.75 days. Actually, for this ratio, it is good for the company to have a longer period to pay for the debts to the creditors. It is for to improve their business operations within the period to pay the, the debts to the creditors. To conclude the liquidity ratios, I can see that here, Bonia Corporation has a better liquidity ratios than Chita Holdings Berhad. My name is Nur Awantif binti Abu Rashid. Okay. Next, let's continue with leverage ratio. Leverage ratio analyzes how a firm is being financed and whether a firm is able to meet its interest expense. There are two main components of leverage ratio, which are debt ratio and interest cover ratio. Firstly, debt ratio. Debt ratio shows how much the percentage of liabilities that is used to finance its assets. Ratio less than one means that the firm has more assets compared to their liabilities. As you can see from the result, Chita Holdings Berhad has ratio about 7.29% while Bonia Corporation Berhad has the percentage about 31.35%. This indicates that
Bonyak Corporation Berhad has more debt compared to Cita Holdings Berhad. Then, there are many variants of debt ratio and one of them are debt to equity ratio. Debt to equity ratio indicates that how much company how much company is relying on long term liabilities. As we can see, Bonyak has larger ratio than Cita, which is 15.47% and 0.49% Once again, this indicates Bonya is relying more on long-term borrowings since long-term borrowing for Bonya is larger compared to Cita Holdings per high. Next, Interest Cover Ratio Interest Cover Ratio measures the extent to which the firm earnings before interest and tax can meet interest expenses. The lower the ratio means that the more the firm is burdened by debt expenses. So we can see that Bonya Corporation Burhat has interest cover ratio about 6.29 times while Cita Holdings Burhat has about 9.44 times. This indicates that Bonya Corporation this indicates that Bonya Corporation Berhad is burdened by debt expenses more compared to Cita Holdings Berhad. In summary, leverage ratio measures the extent to which a firm is levered. A firm's degree of leverage ratio is also taken as a measure of risk. Bonya Corporation Berhad had higher debt and debt to equity ratio compared to Cita Holdings Berhad. Okay, my name is Ansuraya Binti Abdul Halim and now I will continue to our last aspect of our financial analysis performance which is efficiency ratio. What is efficiency ratio? Efficiency ratio is to measure how a firm able to earn sufficient earnings and provide a return to the investor. This ratio is important so that the investor know how efficient a firm is to for them to provide return return to the investor okay now i will continue to our first ratio which is earning per share as we can see the earnings per share for bonia is much higher than cita which is 12.35 cent and meanwhile for cita is 1.62 cent what does it mean when the earning per share is much higher than the other firm so which it means that for bonia for every one ordinary share have the shareholder of bonia will earn RM 0.135 cent of income that will be distributed as dividend or earnings for the shareholder. Right. For Cheetah, the shareholder will only earn RM 0.0162 cent as their income or that will be, that will be distributed as dividend or earnings for the shareholder. So that's why the earning per share for Bonia is much higher than Cheetah and it is good for the company as the shareholder will prefer the earning per share that is higher uh, than the other firm that is much lower. Now we will continue to the second ratio which is return on capital employed. This ratio is important for the provider of finance because they want to know. They want to know and they will know the efficiency of management of firm in using fund that is received by the firm. So, as you can see, for Bonia, the return on capital employed is 6.61%. Meanwhile, for Bonia, and meanwhile for Cheetah, the return on capital employed is 1.44%. So, we can we can see that Bonia have a higher return on capital employed than Cheetah. So, what is what is mean by that? It means that uh, every one year of fund provided to Bonia. Uh, is able to earn a return of 0.061 annually on average. But for Cheetah, every warning day of fund provided to Cheetah, they will earn only 0.0144 ringgit. So, of course, the investor will prefer the firm that has a higher return of capital employed so that there is, they will receive a higher return. Okay. Then we continue to the third ratio which is return on asset. Return on asset is like a, an alternative measure of profitability because as for Bonia, we can see that return on asset is 3.67% and Cheetah is only 0.75%. 
So, what can we interpret from the return on asset of Bonia? We can interpret that every one ringgit of asset that is made available to the firm, uh, Bonia able to generate a return after tax of RM 0.0367. But for Cita, every one ringgit of asset that is made available to the firm, uh, it will only able to generate return after tax which is 0.0075 ringgit. So, we can see that there is a big difference in the return of asset for both firms. That's why, for, uh, that's why uh, the investor we prefer to choose Bonia as they will have a higher return than Shita. Last but not least, I will explain the last ratio of the efficiency ratio which is return on equity. How does this ratio help for the investor to choose a better firm to invest? This return on equity means that uh, help the shareholder to identify the level of return they are getting for every one gain of funds that they have invested in the firm. So we can see that for every one gain of funds that the shareholder have invested in the firm, for Bonia they will only receive RM 0.0534, but for Cita is much lower, which is RM 0.008. So that's why. For the shareholder to choose a better company to invest is for Bonia. Okay, to conclude, the shareholder, the investor, will have a higher tendency to choose Bonia as the firm that they will invest because all of the efficiency ratio that I have explained just now, it is higher in Bonia than Cita. So, I will suggest for the shareholder to choose Bonia as the company that they will invest because Bonia will benefit them much than Shita. So, in conclusion, from overall ratio, Bonia Corporation Berhad had proof to have a better financial performance compared to Shita Holdings Berhad. In generating profit, Bonia is obviously higher compared to Shita Holdings Berhad because Shita did not manage well their operating expenses. Next, Bonia also good in paying debts and collecting debts from creditors. Although Bonia has high debt finance, but we can see that Bonia have their own alternative. First, Bonia have high profitability which can generate more cash to pay off their debts. Then, Bonia also has strong sales and Bonia also took a short time to collect their debts. For efficiency ratio, we can see that Bonia obviously had higher ratio compared to Cita Holdings huh? in all aspects. After analyzing and considering, our team has considered Bonia Corporation Berhad as the best company for the investment platform. Thank you.